Hi and welcome back. I got a little tiny sheet of watercolor paper here in the back. Uh, I'm gonna mark up how small it is because I'm gonna do a sketch. Uh, let me get my pencil out of my keep smiling watercolor set here. Will I keep that around in my swatch chart? Here's a pencil and I want to use it. Normally I use a harder pencil for um, sketching. Um, but I'm going to do my sketch on in my sketch pad there. So it's not too bad. I really don't want soft graphite on my watercolor. Um, watercolor paper because it tends to smudge now I just know with myself that I'm not ever gonna use this little sponge for anything well I might but not what it's supposed to so I think I'll see yes I can get an eraser in there I'd, that would be way more useful for me and I got tons of erasers so it wouldn't be terrible if one was sitting there. So, just marking it up so I stay within the area. Roughly. And uh, I got a reference photo from uh, Unsplash by a photographer called Ricky. Kaha Wala. Oh, I'm sorry if I killed that. Sorry, sorry, sorry. But he has this little hamster. Okay, I'll voice this over because I sped this up. Um, yeah, so I'm trying to draw this hamster within my little frame there. And it started out okay. The thing is, I got the reference photo up on my screen. When I sketch normally on camera, I look at the screen and not the paper while I draw because the angle, my view angle down on the paper is wrong. So when I draw this way, um, with the paper flat on the desk, my, yeah, it gets kind of, it looks wrong. And that was exactly what happened here because I can't look at the screen this time because um, on my screen is, as I said, my reference photo. So. Uh, fortunately, it was just the bottom of the hamster that got wrong. And um, yeah, I went a little out of my frame there uh, to make it look more right. And here I'm lining it up hard uh, because, <laughs> yeah, I needed to be visible on my screen there, my light pad. And I only just managed to squeeze it in on my paper. So, um, yeah, but it, uh, and I use a harder pencil for sketching up on the paper and lighter lines. Okay, so I'm trying to arrange this a little bit. I s turned this around in the tin because the pencil and the brush was in the front here and that was unhandy for me so I just turned that 180 degrees now there's room for my swatch chart and it's not super handy I might change things around when I start painting here's a palette I got some brushes we got water I only use one jug of water because there's over a liter of water in there so that should be enough for this little painting without going muddy um, Sometimes this thing about painting on YouTube is a challenge because you have to kind of fit things that don't fit there really, will it? see the swatch chart but you can see the colors that has to do okay so I'll
try and do this as a speed paint. If there's anything I want to say on the way, I will just voice it over. See you in a bit.
Okay, um, I've been painting on this for the better part of an hour. And, um, I could continue and I won't because I kind of figured out what I want to know about this paint. It is a little difficult to work with because it really gets a lot, 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 lot lighter when it dries. So it's very difficult to um, guess how light it gets when you put down a layer. And so it uh, it looks kind of overworked. Uh, and, it, and that's because it is. Um, you can see how muddy it looks here. And that is because there's just way too many brush strokes in there uh, and, and because I keep on adding and adding and now it's gotten to the point where uh, I just pick up the color again when I go over it once more it, it smushes out um, and then there's something here that got stayed darker than I expected it to be I can go on making lots of more corrections but uh, I won't um, you can paint with it, absolutely, but it is it is difficult. I'd say if you can manage to get something really good with these, you're good to go because it will going up in in quality of paint will only make your life easier. Um, yeah, it layers nicely uh, to, to a point. When there's too much paint, then it it starts to to lift again. I should maybe try and let it dry and then try again, but I won't do that on camera because this video is going to be plenty long. I like the colors. Uh, the colors mix nicely. It's easy enough to get kind of the the colors you want by mixing. Um, and uh, you saw my chaotic way of mixing colors. And. Um, I like mixing on a tray and then put it on the, the paper rather than do it straight from the pan. These are a little unpredictable straight from the pan, so it's easier to mix it out with some water on on the palette and then add it to the paper because I get a more even uh, color in your, at least the, the color you pick up with your brush, it's the same that comes out of the brush pretty much the whole until the brush is empty. Um, whereas if you pick it up from the pan, it's very concentrated at the tip of the brush and then you've got to just pour water at the top, which is kind of okay if you want to do a gradient, but I, I that was not quite what I went for. Um, on, on a distance it looks kind of okay, but the value control is really difficult with these paints, as I said, because they, they pale down. It's really difficult also to get things really, really dark. I had to mix in some blue to get the eyes real black. I would like some darker shade in there and the shadow here under the nose is, is also not quite dark enough. But, um, but they're not impossible to use and a good color selection. And uh, I should probably just keep on trying. This is professional watercolor paper that I used. It is, let me see, it is Winston & Newton Professional 300 gram hot press paper. So the paper is not the issue. Um, yeah, I mean, it's a 13 euro set and uh, it uh, it could be okay for somebody to start with, or as I said, for a sketch set or a doodling set, it is absolutely fine. It is not something I will do any kind of art with that I have to either scan or sell, because it's not quite that good. But I could do some okay sketches with this. Thank you very much for watching. It, this was fun. Please like, subscribe and come back. I do all kinds of stuff here with paint and paper. So, keep smiling.